BBC Radio One Fern Cotton. No one else has come down to the studio yet. Is the butternut squash thing a scary prospect for people who like cake? Come on down. Let me talk to. I can see Stephen in the newsroom. Stephen, Stephen, do you want a cake? Sorry? Do you want a cake? Come down to the studio. All oh, right, he's, he just said in my ear, he's about to drive one extra's desk for their news bulletin, which I've rudely interrupted. I'm so sorry about that, Stephen. But hopefully, after they've done the very important news on Radio 1 Extra, he'll pop down. I feel awful about that. He'll pop down to the studio for a butternut squash cake. Whoops. Maybe I am a feeder. I'm very sorry, Stephen. He's, got, he's trying to twiddle buttons, all sorts, but he's going to come down for a little cake in a minute. Tell your news team, get him down here. Vegetable cakes on the go. Europe's leaders admit they're struggling to find a solution to help countries like Greece and Spain out of their debt crisis. They've got until Wednesday to agree on a deal. BBC. Radio 1. Newsbeat. Oh, Dominic. Hi. It is lovely to have you back. Oh, thank you very much. It's lovely to be back. Thank Did you have you a nice much. break? Yeah, really nice break. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was lovely. It's nice to hear your familiar, soothing tones on the news. Oh, thanks, Greg. And with it, I, have you made Newsbeat more funky since you've been away? Have I made that happen? I think the news was very funky today. Was it? Yeah. It was good. One of them was a record scratch, little noise sound effect oh. that went from one ear to another ear. Oh. That was made by Stephen. It's yeah. incredible. Today it was like a sonic delight. Thank you very much. I'll pass that on. Thank you very much. Let's, um, I think we can now... Tap into Stephen's computer, who right. sits next door to you. He check, plays all the music. Check it's, this out. It's so funky these days. Radio 1. Out of control. BBC. <laughs> Newsbeat. Beat, 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 beat. One. Uh. Now, that's what I call Newsbeat 24. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. 15 of your favourite Newsbeat hits, including this and this. <laughs> BBC. Radio 1. La gente está muy loca. Newsbeat. What the... That's a, how cool is Newsbeat getting? What the news. Yeah, what the news. It? Yeah, thank you. La gente se pero what the... What it's the mainly news? down to me, I'll be honest. Yeah, well, thanks. You, no, you're more welcome. You've brought back a, a funk that's been missing for the last couple of weeks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And we applaud that. Thank, thank you, Dominic. Thank you, Greg. BBC Radio 1. News. Trevor Nelson. This is... And I quote Tony Braxton, he wasn't man enough. I quote the man in charge of the news team today says, Hey Trev, that was a golden age of R&B. Go on, Stephen. <laughs> it really was, wasn't it? Every week a tune like that was coming out. It was ridiculous. It's all changed now. Where did you get that from? Uh, from Newsbeat. When? Um, yesterday. Uh, yesterday. Who, who gave it to you? Who put it in your uh, hand? Well, or, or, or whose Stephen. Hand, whose hands did it go in? Stephen at Newsbeat. Who you is... just made that name up. No, Stephen. There's no Stephen. There is. There's no Stephen, There's no Stephen at Newsbeat, Stephen? you liar. There is. There's oh, there Stephen, is. Yeah. He's very good. Um, so, well, who gave it to me? <laughs> Stephen? <laughs> you just made that up. Stephen I'm going to call him Sally. Gavin. Yeah. What's your name again, hairdresser boy? I forgot. Claudio. Claudio! Right. Claudio, did you work at Newsbeat yesterday? Uh, uh, yeah, with my friend Stephen. Oh, right, okay. Right. I believe I can go and speak to uh, Stephen now. Stephen? Stephen, are you there? Oh, hello. Oh! Uh, <laughs> there seems to be some kind of foreign exchange employment <laughs> yes. thing going on. There's yes. a delay as well. <laughs> are you still you're, you're Stephen from Newsbeat, correct? <laughs> I am Stephen from yeah. How, This is Claudio, by the way, my, my left hair dresser. Sarah Cox. Sarah Cox. Sarah Cox. And that's it for now. Matt Edmondson's here tomorrow with a highlight of all the week's biggest showbiz stories. Thanks very much, Chris. It's all right. Can I just ask you, because I can see you up there on camera, up there in Newsbeat, doing the showbiz entertainment news. Yeah. We've got Stephen, who's very skilled there, pressing all the buttons, driving the desk, doing yeah. all of all the technical stuff. BBC. This is Radio 1's Newsbeat. Holy ho, it's the old Terry Ho. Ah, with the old Stephen there, pressing the buttons. And remember, you can see everything that's happening right now on Newsbeat. Me sat here about to chat to our sports reporter, David, as well as Derek and Stephen pressing all the buttons through the studio in front of me. Just head to the Radio 1 homepage. 
Okay, thank you, Greg. Let's get your sport now with David Garrido. And David, this time tomorrow we'll have had the first day of the third Ashes Test, so another crucial match. It is. Can I just say, though, before we get started, I'm loving this music that we're talking over right now, aren't you? I think it's just well brilliant. Well done to our production. Well done to our production <laughs> team. Thank you for making me sound sexy. You're right, it is another crucial match. BBC Radio 1. News, news, eat. BBC Radio 1. Natalie, thank you very much. Shall we have another game tomorrow? Yeah, let's, let's do that. I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely loving. Radio 1's Showbiz Game of the Day. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, I think it needs a bit more glitter. We'll maybe, like, beef it up Let's spruce tomorrow. it up for tomorrow. Yeah. Lovely. Okay. Thank you, Natalie. It is that time. We are ending today on... It's time for Radio 1's Showbiz Game of the Day. Come on now. Yeah. This is getting ridiculous. Well, you asked for them to beef it up, so there you go. What can you imagine? I like it. And we are ending today with what could become another showbiz feature. (laughs) Well, you seem to think so. Well, let's give it a go then. Random. Celebrity facts. Celebrity facts. Random. Celebrity facts. Celebrity facts. Random. Celebrity facts. Celebrity facts. Of the day. Quite long that jingle, isn't it? Yeah. Quite a long jingle. I, I think Stephen's proud of that one, though. He liked Stephen good. in the newsroom. Yeah. That was a highlight of his day when he did that, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was Brilliant. good. Still to come on Newsbeat, we are at Edgebaston with the latest from the cricket. Then at 12.15, we hand back to Trevor, who's Thank talking you. movie remakes. Oh, yeah. And I was just talking to Stephen through the glass, and I thought, Pelham 123, the taking of Pelham 123. Uh, <laughs> Never seen it. Go on. We haven't thought about that one. BBC Radio 1. Scott Mills. Right, moving on to the next story. Oh. In anger. I'm angry. I'm Liam Gallagher. <laughs> The Scottish accent. That wasn't yeah. Liam either. <laughs> that what wasn't is, Liam. I'm loving these newsbeat voices. It's like one of those bad dramas on one of those really channels really high up. It's just full of imposters. <laughs> one. BBC Radio One. News beat. As for the big five mobile phone operators, they told Newsbeat... There are a number of tariffs and deals to let customers manage their bills effectively. Customer satisfaction is always a priority and there are several ways people can keep track of exactly how much data they use. BBC. This This is Radio 1's Newsbeat. We've been trying all week to speak to someone from Activision, the game's publishers, but all we got was a short statement. We take our commitment to supporting the game very seriously. To that end, we've worked closely with fans to actively engage them, which we factor into every update and will continue to do so. This is BBC Radio 1 Extra Newsbeat. Since they formed, there have been six different singers in the Sugar Babes. That was all of them. The current trio now say they won't lose the Sugar Babes' name. Newsbeat. A question for you now. What do all these artists have in common? BBC Radio One Extra. Right, let's get some entertainment news now. Carissa Chatterton's here. Amy, let's start with a quick question. What's the link between these artists? Just gonna make you sweat We had a bit of Tayo Cruz there, Nicki Minaj, Flo Rida, Usher, Kelly Rowland, Snoop Dogg and Rihanna. The answer is David Guetta, who seems to have taken over the whole top ten for most of this year. News beat. BBC Radio 1. Anyway, I digress. Should we have some entertainment news? We can do it if you want. Let's yeah. do this. It's entertainment news time, and to start with... Do we have talk. some... Hang on a minute. Is what? there some? Is there not any music yet? Oh, it's just... <laughs> music in a minute. Oh, right, OK. I just thought coming. that... I thought Steve upstairs had been... Yeah. Uh, it's like... Gluck, gluck, gluck. I was going to kick off quite dramatically. Stop! Now! Let's go! Radio 1, Nick Grimshaw. <laughs> entertainment news. Sorry uh, we're late. That's all right. You'll be late for everything today, but it's fine. <laughs> it's good. Has so the music started and you've just forgotten to press the button again? No. It's faded up. Hit it, News One. That was good, wasn't it? <laughs> that works. Oh, it's like Stephen's under your control. 
Radio 1. News Beat. This is BBC Radio 1's News Beat. You know those days when you're tired mm-hmm. and you just want to go home? Yeah. And someone goes, oh, Don, we just need to record a little trailer for Oddbox. Yeah. And you go, yeah, OK, fine. This is on a Friday. Yeah, this is true. It's a Friday. It's the last thing I do on a Friday before you I go home. You are so professional. Hello, I'm Dominic Byrne. There's a brand new odd box to watch at the moment, which is nice. Hello, I'm Dominic Byrne. There's a brand new odd box to watch. Why? Why? Why do I? Hello, I'm Dominic Byrne. I've, I can't. I can't do any more. Hello, I'm Dominic Byrne. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Dominic Byrne. There's a brand new odd box to watch right now. It's our top ten of all the week's weird videos. Look out for the blah. <clears throat> It's not okay. funny. That one was alright. Oh man. <clears throat> That's the, that's the best one so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's Stephen upstairs. Thank you, Stephen. Yeah, that's the best one so far, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, that's the best one. I'm looking forward to tomorrow now. BBC Radio One's Access All Areas. So this Access All Areas, the pressure is off us DJs today. It's all about the Newsbeat team and what goes on up there. So we're going to be chatting to Natalie Jameson again in a bit. Look at Stephen's eyes twitch when I mention Newsbeat. Newsbeat! Newsbeat, Stephen! Yeah, I'm watching him. I'm spying on him on the monitor. Um, so the news team all up there kind of getting ready and they've all put the best sort of clothes on today and brushed their hair and put a bit of lippy on, etc. Even Stephen. Um, so they're all getting ready to expose themselves to the nation and tell it... Not in that way, Alex. BBC Radio 1 Scott Mills Fair enough. Modest. Fair enough. And Jennifer Lopez's ex has given his first interview since the pair announced their divorce. Mark Anthony's talked to television show Good Morning America. Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez. They were one of Hollywood's hottest super couples until six weeks ago. What can you tell us about what went wrong in the marriage? He has refused to talk about the split until now. Do you love Jennifer? I'll always love Jennifer. So, oh, God, I love American <laughs> TV. Don't you just? It's so exciting. <laughs> It is. So we thought, seeing as you love American ads and also how you love how much effort Newsbit puts into jingles, we do one to end on Matt Edmondson's entertainment news tomorrow. Blush. Matt Edmondson and Fern Cardin. Yeah, I see you've been baking, I've yeah. been baking. You've got quite a lot of water retention there, haven't you? Yeah. <laughs> they were one of Radio One's hardest pairings. Don't Even do the thing again that you do to your girlfriend when what? you use your stomach to talk. <laughs> Until Fern booked the day off because it's her birthday. That was a lovely birthday message, right? In a world full of funny women, Matt's found a new one. Sarah Cox. Everybody's wanging on about goosebumps. Hear them on tomorrow's entertainment news from midday here on BBC Radio One. I thought the trail could have been better. Good effort, uh, I think, for a, for a first try. I think the guy's voice needs to be a bit, a bit deeper. Oh. I love it when... I, it's a lovely Stephen who does all your voiceovers, isn't it? And I love it when he does different accents. Because basically his Scottish <laughs> one always shines yeah. through. Yeah. I, I want it to be more like that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately I couldn't find anyone in the office with a deep no. enough voice.